Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Chim Nonso and I'm a makeup artist that do put facial makeup and special effect makeup. And so guys, today we are going to be doing something different apart from makeup tutorials. So guys, this is like a two-in-one video. First, this is me trying to, if you're a makeup artist and you're a beginner, um, this is me recommending um, beginner status sorry makeup artist status kit some of the essential things you need to have and also in this video i will tell you some of your makeup products which have multiple uses that you don't know so guys please stay tuned because this is this is a very as a musty video you must see it because it is very very essential for you especially if you're a beginner if you're just starting this video will guide you and tell you the necessary things you need to know about your products so guys stay tuned so guys the first product we'll be looking at is our foundation so this is classic um makeup foundation and guys i don't know if you if you've used this this is what i use and this is what i prefer using um i've tried frank b and frank b foundation too is quite nice but for me i've been using a um, classic i'm like their biggest customer so guys this classic foundation this will not only work as a foundation for you you can also use this for your concealer you can use it to highlight your under eye and guys you can also use this in case if you don't want your lipstick to crease guys you can also use this to act like your lipstick base because this you know when you want when you don't want your lipstick to crease or have breakages you should you you should always go for concealer but then in the case whereby this thing where there is no concealer you can use this i've i've, I've used this you can see my last video i used this in highlighting the under eye and all the other parts of my face face that i, I needed to highlight for my model's face that i needed to highlight so you can not just use a foundation for just your foundation you can also use it for highlighting and you setting and everything will just go so guys this is it you can use it as your lipstick base and let me try uh, so guys the next is eye pencil please don't laugh at this eye pencil i can't find my longer eye pencil so i'm going to just use this guys so next thing is eye pencil and guys you must have heard that this is just for your eye and maybe you don't know that you can use this for also your lips you can use it to line your lips and most times in short i prefer using this this is always what i use i when you because this the mouth is sharp and using it to line your lips i think this is this is the best so if you prefer using your darker eye um darker lipstick palette like from your lipstick palette your liquid lipstick for lining your lips it is fine but what i'm just trying to say that this is also nice you can use it to line your lips <laughs> guys i look horrible i know i know so i'll still blend everything so now it works also not just for your eyebrows you can also use it for your lipstick to line your lips and give it that dark look guys so that is it this is not just work this doesn't work only as an as an eyebrow gel eyebrow pencil it works also as a lip liner guys and guys the next on our lips is our lipstick this lipstick yes yes lipstick it is for the lips but guys lipstick your lipstick are not just for your lips you can also use it for your eyeshadow yes you can use it for your eyeshadow just apply just a drop or two and then you can blend off and everything will be properly blended you can also use your lipstick as your eyeshadow and i don't know if there are people who use this for blush but yes i think it can go if it can go as an eyeshadow it can also go as a blush i think there should be people who do this just a little bit of of it on your this and just you can blend and everything and everything will be properly blended so yes guys this is for your lips but you can also use it for your eyeshadow or blush and 
as a beginner you don't need to buy everything even those things you don't know how to use just because oh they are all makeup you can start small small and you if you, especially if you don't have the money so you don't need to buy everything just like this lipstick it can also serve you and give you two services three self for your lips your eyeshadow and then for the blush guys and guys this is now my concealer i used elegant pro concealer and this is in in beige right yes it should be in beige oh, it's no longer there but guys i believe this is should this should be in beige so guys this your eyeshadow this your concealer it doesn't just work as a concealer for under on um, for highlighting your under eye bridges of your nose uh, your jaw your forehead no it works as those things but not just it you can also use your concealer for your eyeshadow base if you want to apply your eyeshadow you go over with the concealer first and then blend before applying your eyeshadow you can also use your concealer for your lipstick you can also use it for your lipstick base just like what the um foundation did what i used the foundation for first in my lips you can also use your this and you can also use this to cover your dark um, um spots in case if you have dark spots and you want to go over with your foundation before you go over with your foundation and other things guys you first of all use a concealer darker than your skin tone and don't use it just a drop of it to cover let's assume this concealer is darker than my skin tone you just place it on your dark spots wherever you have dark spots and it will be properly covered it will not be seen so this thing works as um for log works for your leaves you can use it to create um what 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 is even called you can just place it on the center of your leaves and then blend it to create this shade you can also use it to highlight your under eye set bridges of your nose your forehead your jaw and also give yourself a, a little bit of reverse contour and you can also use it for your eyeshadow base so whichever one you want to use it for your concealer of success gives you three services or even more than three so guys that is it so guys i look i the lipstick i look horrible with it when i'm not in makeup it's it happens like that so guys the next is my eyeshadow primer Yes, your, your your concealer can also work as your eyeshadow primer But your eyeshadow primer is your eyeshadow primer And guys, there is thing with eyeshadow primer You can also use it for your lips And <laughs> guys, and guys, there is this thing I want to share with you guys Please don't look it's a secret So I, I also use my eyeshadow primer for, um, for my eye, my waterline When I want to use um, a white, um, a white uh, eyeliner for my waterline. I also use my eyeshadow primer for my waterline. And so, guys, that is it. So, in makeup, you always have to be creative. Know what we also go for what because this eyeshadow primer doesn't only work as my eyeshadow primer. It works as my lipstick base and also my inner eyeliner. So, guys, so guys, that is it. And this is Zaron. This is the first Zaron product I'm using. And guys, I must, um, beautiful people, I must confess, this is way, this is way better than all the um, black eyeliner, uh, gel eyeliner I've ever used. This Zaron is one of the best gel eyeliner I've used. And guys, Zaron gel eyeliner, I use it for my my under eye. If you want to use it for your brows, if you use darker or you want to go, maybe you want to create something, you want to do something creative, and you want to go with darker eyeshadow or black, um, sorry, black eyeliner, you can use your gel, your, this your gel eyeliner, your Zaron gel eyeliner, or any other gel eyeliner you have for it. And I also use this gel eyeliner for my lipstick. If my client or my model, maybe I want to create this, um, this, beautiful look for my model and it will be created with black lipstick i go with this <laughs> it will be all for me to say that this is a better lipstick for me because when you when you do it it stays for long like it stays for long i mean to say it stays for long and it will not break it will not create it will not it will just be like that i've used it before and so guys you can also try it out this is zara eyeliner 
The next is our powder and this is face contour palette. So guys, this is not just me. So many people do it. They use their powder to um, do a reverse contour and also I've seen someone use it for eyeshadow. In my last video, I think I used powder for the eyeshadow. Please guys, go and see it because all the makeup products I did, I did it with just powder palette, my powder palette and my foundation. Like you don't need, basically need all those makeup products just because you want to have a full face glam. So guys, please go and see that video. It is very, very essential. And this, you can also use it to set in your concealer. You can, it can work as a setting powder, you can use it to give yourself a reverse contour and you can also use it for your eyeshadow, the darker part you want to go with your eyeshadow, fine, your powder will work and for your face contour to bake, your powder works too, you can also use it to bake so guys, whichever one you are doing, this powder, it is beautiful your powder is not just face powder, face powder, not just it, be creative this is for that things, guys. So, guys, this is my Sacha Buttercup set of powders. Yes, and tra translucent powder actually. You can use it for setting your face, but then I use it for baking. And guys, there is this thing with this uh, translucent powder that most people do not know, and that is what I want to explain in this video just shortly. Um, this translucent powder, when you have a dark nose contour and you want to correct that, this is the best powder to use. Okay, you can use any other powder, but I think trans your translucent powder, as far as it's translucent powder, it can work for anything. Anything that, when it comes to correcting the nose, I mean, when I mean anything, I mean when it comes to cor correcting your nose contour. There are nose contour you just do, you do it from here, it, it will be so dark this thing and the darkness of the nose will be so precise like you don't even have to look at the face twice before you find out that the nose contour is so dark so for you to correct it you have to use this your translucent setting powder and it doesn't go just for just for um your your correcting of nose contour you can use it to correct your contour at the cheekbone maybe the contour is too dark or you, you overdid your contour overdid your contour you understand what i'm saying so you can just use this and pat it on that place and it will be corrected you can also use your powder of course yes you can use um maybe a lighter shade powder but this is what i recommend this is the best and this is what i use in correcting my nose contour sometimes when my nose contour is harsh because normally i don't contour with harsh um, um contour i don't contour my nose with harsh contour and i always do not contour my nose with the same contour and um, powder i used in contouring my forehead and my my cheekbone no i always use a lighter shade contour to contour the rest of my nose and then use the same contour i use for my forehead for this upper part of my nose but in case if i overdid or if i happen to overdo my contour my nose contour and everything becomes so dark and so off I always use I always use this and it works so much. I always use it to correct my nose contour and it will be so natural and beautiful. So guys, whenever you make a mistake like that, go in with your translucent powder. It is not just translucent powder for baking or or setting in. You can also use it to correct your nose contour or other part of your mm, contoured face. You understand? So guys, that's it. And guys, um, I think this will be the last thing I'm talking about this is the this is my pigment but then I don't know it is possible for you to use this pigment to give yourself um to highlight your your definitely not for my color but you I think you can use it to highlight your your cheekbone the upper part of your cheekbone and just just more Small, small amount of it and then you can blend in with your this thing with your with your beauty blend and it will go i think i've not tried it but then i i don't see it as it will go let's just check let's just let me turn down this light and know if how it will look how it will glow and guys this is it 
you can you can see it you can see it guys see look at it. it's so beautiful and you don't even need too much of it just a little bit of it and you blend off and everything will just go i know it's always when the light comes over to that side that it will, it will shine or glimmer so look at it so you can also use this to give yourself that just once it is the correct shade the, as in the person's correct shade you can use it or yes you can use your pigment to do it and it will go very well so guys, I believe that this video is very helpful. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned, turn on the notification bell because this channel, it will not only teach you um, facial makeup, it will teach you um, special effect makeup, that's SFX makeup. And guys, you have to learn a lot. Like I've always said in my first videos when I started this YouTube, I'm here to learn from you and you will learn from me. This is just like an exchange of knowledge. So guys, please, as we are exchanging knowledge, we are learning from each other. Follow and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow me on Facebook at Chimnoso, on Instagram at Chimnoso too. You can, you can, sorry, you can just start with chimno so and i'll pop out as it does or m or just chimno so and then on twitter search for chimno so too i am there guys please follow my social media handles and any questions you have you can ask me on the comment in the notification section tell me what you feel about this tutorial if you have any question you can direct it to me once i discover more product that can be used from that has multiple multiple uses i will always update this video and update you guys so you see guys this is why it is necessary for you to subscribe to my channel so guys bye